Welcome to this week's episode of Creatures of the College. Today, we treat you to a first look at a unique and diverse species inhabiting this rich environment. Known as the Studiosum Musicorum, also called the common variety of the music major, this colony of single-brained organisms struggles to survive in the predatorial world of the liberal arts university. Music students are an underappreciated species, often overlooked by scientists because they share their environment with such dominant species as nursing and business majors. Music majors die early, are hard to spot, and sometimes go blind or deaf, in deference to Beethoven. Let's take a closer look. The music major resides in a many-chambered hive like the bee. Each individual cell is known as a practice room after the activity taking place therein. Because of the sheer amount of time spent in these rooms, observing music majors in this natural habitat provides a grandly diverse sample of the activities of such a fascinating species. Look, this one is about to break under the enormous pressure of the melody of Handel. Let's listen and observe. Sleeping habits of the Studiosum Musicorum remain a mystery to scientists to this day. An organism at rest is very difficult to observe, unless one plays the cymbals, for, like the shark, it rests for only 30 seconds at a time, then continues practicing. However, our skilled cameramen have braved the wilds to provide us with a glimpse of the rare phenomenon called napping. Not everything about the life of the music major is pain and suffering, however. During the mating season, called by the locals spring semester, love may crescendo, floating in sweet harmonies through the walls of the practice rooms. The female sends out her mating call and the male responds with like. It appears we may be witnessing true love. Unfortunately, however, Studiosum musicorum has been placed on the endangered species list, as reproduction rates are very, very low due to the lack of social skills caused by confinement in the practice room and climate change. Many sounds of nature fill this auditorily diverse environment. One subspecies, known as the vocalist, dominates the musical landscape with its unrestricted practicing habits. Vocalists feel quite free to practice at lunch, in the hall, and especially in the loo. Occasionally, a music student will be picked off by the dangerous predator known as disease. The reason for the rampant spreading of illness is unknown, but the research is required. music major does emerge from a practice room, it is for one of four reasons. To eat, to sleep, though this is rare, to attend a useless English class, or to perform. This brings us to the recital, the grand consummation of many months of slaving over the works of Chaminade. During this ritual, the student dons a covering of black and attempts to stay conscious on a stage while blinded by the unnatural brightness of 15 spotlights. However, the audience settles in and the student forgets the sleepless, solitary hours of practice 
the excruciating pain shooting down her arm, and the voice major she just met in the bathroom, and she plays. For a moment, all things are gloriously complete, and everything was worth it. The audience cheers, the musician bows. Clearly, the experience is so moving for the music major that she is willing to commit herself to three more months of solitude as she returns the next day to the practice room.